Hey everybody, my name is John. I'm a personal trainer in Chicago. And today I'm at home on my lunch break in between appointments uh, and I'm doing my meal prep and I wanted to share that with you guys. So what I'm gonna make is uh, food for the next five days or so, uh, particularly my breakfast and my lunches. And this might maybe take, I don't know, uh, 45 minutes, hour, just depending on uh, your time management skills and the resources that you have. This is what we're making. Uh, food containers to go uh, in my lunch bag. I can easily heat these up. If you don't have a microwave at your workplace, then you might have to rethink this. But uh, if this works for you, great. Uh, and inside each meal, you will see I've uh, perfectly portioned out uh, grilled chicken, uh, brown rice, and bro broccoli florets. Uh, delicious and nutritious. All right, so obviously we need the following. Uh, chicken, check. Then we need the rice. I like to use minute rice because I'm always in a hurry. Uh, sometimes I also will use uh, rotini noodles. Both are complex carbs. And why is that important? It takes longer to break down, longer sustainable energy uh, to fuel your day. And uh, then lastly, for uh, nutrients, uh, I'm doing broccoli. Uh, and I buy it frozen, so I keep it on hand all the time. So whether I'm making dinner and I need to uh, steam this whole bag, I go ahead and fire it up in the microwave, or uh, I just throw it right in my food prep, uh, like you'll see uh, very soon. So let's get started. All right, so since breakfast is the most important meal of the day, I'm gonna start with preparing that. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is uh, get my eggs, and I like to be cage-free, and by the way, uh, the uh, eggs that are not brown, the white eggs, uh, tend to peel easier in my opinion. Another thing to make this uh, super easy and streamlined is uh, an egg timer. Uh, this will really help make sure that uh, you cook the eggs to your liking. Uh, so the center will change color, uh, and as you get close to the center, um, it'll get all white, and that way you know that your egg is a soft boiled egg or a hard boiled egg because eggs boiled too long really smells like sulfur when you peel them and just not that fun. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill up my pot of water and start boiling the eggs. We got the egg timer and the eggs and the water. Let's fire it up, here we go. Cook eggs, cook. All right, so while my eggs are cooking, I'm gonna start the lunch process. So uh, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna go ahead and get the rice started. I'm not gonna spend too much time making minute rice for you uh, because there is directions on the box, but I'll get that started and get right back to you. All right, so the rice is cooking. So now while the rice is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the chicken. Very easy. Uh, so I like to use cage-free organic uh, all that stuff. So today uh, we're using uh, tenders because that's what uh, was uh, freshest in my opinion. I'm also gonna use a bag to let the marinade work. And then uh, I like to use the Mojo uh, marinade. A couple companies make it. Uh, this one is by Old Havana. Uh, the other one that I like is by uh, Goya. A uh, very healthy way to add flavor. So here I go. So two packages of chicken. This will give me about five days worth of meals. Uh, this is just shy of two pounds. Uh, again, this is up for lunches. So I'll make about five lunches and then uh, maybe use the leftover uh, chicken for like a snack or something like that. So chicken's in the bag. And here we go. Uh, maybe about a half cup of marinade. I'm just going to eyeball it. Swoosh this around after I get it sealed up. And 
put it in the fridge. All right, so the rice is going. We got 10 minutes till it's done. It's only taking us about 10 minutes or so to get to this point. And then the eggs went from soft to medium. I'm gonna cook them all the way through. So the eggs and the rice should be done uh, around the same time. So here we go. It's about three minutes left for the rice to be done cooking. And I'm checking out my egg timer and look at that. We are all the way through. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that bad boy off and then it's time to cool the eggs so they don't overcook. Here come the eggs. Run some cool water on them. Let them cool down. Here we go, I got less than a minute on the rice. That's perfect. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and uh, measure out our broccoli uh, into the containers and the rice will go in there. And then the eggs I'm just gonna set aside uh, for later. All right, so here we go. Here comes the next fun part. I'm going to go ahead and measure things out. So I'm going to start with uh, two thirds cups of rice because that is what the program I've designed for myself uh, to include per lunch. All right, so I'm just going to measure out two thirds cup, plop it in, move on to the next. fun stuff. Get the last of it in there. Actually measured out perfectly. Good to go. Next comes the handy food scale. I'm going to use this food scale here. Uh, it's made by Taylor. Uh, it's a pretty good one. I like it can weigh up to, I think, 11 pounds of food, which isn't too bad. Today I'm gonna use broccoli, because uh, uh, you know, I'm on a broccoli kick, why not? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my food scale and weigh out 100 grams of broccoli per uh, container. All right, perfect. So I've measured out my broccoli, I've measured out my rice. This has maybe taken me about 20, 25 minutes or so. I'm gonna put the lids on all these containers, throw them in the fridge, go back to work, and then I'll check in with you guys in a little while. All right, I'm, uh, I'm on my skateboard and I'm uh, at the beach. Now it's a cool, uh, about 50 degrees or so here in Chicago. So it feels like uh, summer will be here soon. Spring is finally, finally coming through. And all this beach front behind me is gonna be so much fun. And I'm so lucky to live so close to it. So yeah, last appointment of the day done. Now it's time to go home some chicken. All right, so I'm back. Uh, it's been a few hours since uh, we put the marinade in. Uh, hanging out now, was able to take some time and have my own dinner and uh, respond to some emails. So now let's take a minute and grill the meat. All right, so I'm outside. And meat's going on. All right, so I usually buy uh, chicken tenders or thinly sliced uh, or even butterfly myself so that way they cook faster. I'm all about making this process be as streamlined as possible. 
All right, so it's been about seven, eight minutes or so. Uh, just flipped the chicken. Uh, the stuff is uh, cooking quite fast because the pieces are uh, nice and small. So I'll be inside in no time. And we are done. Let's get these off the grill and get them inside. All right, I'm inside and the chicken is cooled and ready for me to put in the containers where I've already uh, rationed out the rice and broccoli. All right, got the chicken. I got my scale, cutting board, and I'm ready to cut. All right, everybody, real quick. I, eating clean does not mean that you have to sacrifice flavors. I'm bringing out Mrs. Dash. I got two different flavors. I got the garlic and herb, and then I have the original blend. What I do is I sprinkle this on the rice and the broccoli, uh, just to add a little flavor so it's not just uh, so plain. Another thing for that chicken, uh, if you like a little bit of zest, uh, Frank's Red Hot. Definitely like this too. Uh, what I love about each of these is th they're free, zero fat, uh, zero carbs, uh, consider that uh, free. Uh, so I hope you uh, enjoy these tips. And voila, there we go, all set. Food for uh, lunches for about five days and earlier in the video I saw I made the eggs for my breakfast all within a short amount of time. Probably about 20, 25 minutes, cook the eggs and prep these dishes. Maybe another 15, 20 minutes on the grill or so. And just a few more minutes to uh, put all the stuff in the containers. Lids go on, they go in the fridge, and uh, I got lunches for the rest of the week. If you like this video and would like to see more of it, uh, or more of stuff like this, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, also use the comment section below. Uh, tell me uh, what you think, and if there's something else that you'd like to see. Thank you very much, and stay awesome.